Dear President Obama, please help bring my daddy home. I miss him so much. I want my daddy to bring me to Disneyland land for my birthday. How do you know it's crying? Because I feel it. Oh. Your heart is crying? Yeah. Oh. I pray that I'll come back home, but he's still not back home. Hi, right, folks. Uh, boy. I, I don't I don't know how you keep uh, your eyes dry uh, after watching that those are the children of uh, that's Rebecca and Jacob Abedini pleading with President Obama to bring their father home from Iran we have talked to uh, uh, Nagma Abedini uh, the wife of uh, Pastor Saeed Abedini many times on the show she joins us once again uh, Nagma welcome back to the show thank you appreciate it having me back. Well, uh, so before we get to your kids and, and the making of that video and why you decided to take that route, uh, what is the latest? When's the last time you, you talked to your husband or heard from your husband and wh what do you know? Well, I'm not allowed to talk to him, but his um, parents visit him in prison every Wednesday, so uh, about a week ago is what I heard. He's doing better, but uh, he's still struggling with internal bleeding because of the beatings um, in the hands of the hardliners, the radicals there in the with the prison system. And um, he's in the worst prison. He's in one of the worst prisons in the world. He was in Evan. Now he's in an, an exile prison, which is even worse. And um, we just need to get him home. Second year of an eight-year sentence, and the crime is uh, being Christian. That's it. And, uh, you know, actually, uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that he hasn't, the Iranian government has said he hasn't even committed a crime. They approved our conversion in 2004 when it, there was a different uh, president, Khatami. And so legally, they've said they've recognized our conversion, our marriage. In, we, had a, uh, we married in Iran. Uh, we had a Christian wedding. Uh, they said, uh, you know, his crime is uh, undermining the national security of Iran. They said home ga gatherings of Christians was the cause of that which happened in the earlier years of 2000 and uh, in Iran uh, gatherings of Christians of religious minorities is not a crime but they said well when the Christians gather they're really trying to undermine our government so really if you read into their uh, uh, the, the, the con their conviction of eight years they haven't said Said has committed any crime or has broken any law you know, you and I, I always ask you, you know, what do you tell your kids? How are they handling it? And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're getting older, uh, as we've seen in that, uh, that video. And, uh, you know, when, when your daughter asks, uh, why does her daddy need to be in prison for loving Jesus? First of all, what made you go the route of releasing or making and releasing this video? You know, as you know, the kids have been hidden for the last two years and uh, as we've talked about I say you know they're hurting but I felt uh, first of all as the years are going by it's getting harder for them uh, my daughter was five now she's almost eight she's missed three birthdays without him and that's a lot of years for for an eight-year-old three years out of her eight years and uh, three birthdays and so it's just uh, it's getting harder they're crying a lot they're asking for him a lot uh, first days of school and so on and I, I really felt uh, that the world needed to get a glimpse. I have mer very uh, a lot of videos, unfortunately, of them crying and asking for him. But I just shared a few seconds of each to for the world to see when I say my kids are hurting, they're suffering, and just because my husband's a Christian, he hasn't broken any law, and um, and Iran's holding him illegally. They're torturing him, um, and I just want the world to see this, these are kids that are hurting. This is a family. This is just not the news. Um, this is this is more than the news. It's it's a family in pain every single day of they the two. Are, they, Nagma, they are just beautiful, beautiful children, uh, and uh, and and so so brave and going through so much. Um, do you do you hope that Obama see what what do you hope to accomplish and what would you say uh, to Obama uh, as well? You know, um, I hope he sees the human part of it. You know, as as, as a dad, he can get desperate and what can I do? What phone call can I make to bring the, this dad home? He's away from his kids and his kids, if it was my two daughters hurting like this every single night, every single day, what would I do? And I, I hope to reach his human 
part of the uh, his human side. You know, um, we're we're at the best place we've ever been with Iran. Where they're they're wanting help with ISIS. They're you know we're negotiating. This is an easy ask. He hasn't broken any law. He he's not in you know, uh, because Iran hasn't said he was a spy or he's broken any of their internal laws. We're sitting across the table. We're still negotiating. We're releasing billions and billions of, of dollars, and this is a perfect time to get him home. And I hope he sees the human side of this. That you know, he's a dad. He has two daughters. He has two kids. And I hope it reaches you know something inside of him to want to do something to get him home tomorrow today. Does that make it all the more difficult knowing? You know, here's the thing: we're we're you know we're enemies with Iran, but uh, he's reached out to them. He's had private talks with them, as you correctly indicated. We're negotiating them over over a nuclear program. Uh, we're on the uh, philosophically on the same side against ISIS, uh, and, and 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 you know. Uh, so here's an opportunity, but yet I haven't heard the, the words cross the, the name of your of your husband cross his lips. And and in Mexico, I mean, he, he, what if we were friends with Iran? Uh, would it be any better? Because look at Mexico. Look at uh, Sergeant Tamarisi, um, who made a wrong turn, and he's rotting in prison, uh, going back and forth to court. Not in the situation your husband's in, but nonetheless, he's a Marine and he's in jail there. And Obama doesn't say his name. So you think it would be different if if you're if if we were friendlier with Iran, or you think it wouldn't make a difference? You know, it's frustrating because we are friendlier. You know, when first sight was taken, I was told that well, we we're not talking to Iran. You know, and so there's not much we can do. Now we are talking to them. So it's frustrating because now we are in better terms with Iran. They got. You know, a five billion, and then recently another two billion uh, released, um, easing, you know, easing, easing the helping with their economy and so on. So, it's it's frustrating because we are in better terms with Iran, and this should be an easy ask. You know, I don't, want, I don't want to interrupt. We have thirty seconds left. What could the folks do to help you? You know, continue to put pressures on your senators, congressmen. Call the State Department. Every voice counts. It does. It, it makes a difference. All right, and and election I, time is coming up, so it's I a big appreciate difference. it. And the switchboard in Washington D.C. Uh, congressional switchboard is 202-224-3121, folks. 202-224-3121 or 202-225. 3121. You could get any senator or any congressman and you could ask them for the State Department number there as well. N N Nagma, thank you so much and we'll be in touch. Thank you. All right, my pleasure. All right, folks, what, what could I say? What a horrific, horrific situation. Those kids are adorable. We'll be back with more of the show, but stay tuned for your Newsmax Now update.